Yo, who that? Fire kid? Oh, boy. <laughs> What's going on, man? Damn, son. I know you was born out here, but I ain't see you in a minute, man. What's good with you, man? Word up, man. How you? I'm great. We here. We breathing. We breathing. Uh, I can't what you complain. into, man? I ain't see you in a minute, boy. Albums on albums on albums. Right. More money, more music. Yo, I saw you on YouTube the other day. Yo, you was tearing shit up, boy. Word yo, that up. shit was fire, yo. That's what it is. Word, I, I wish yo, you Steph, the best, tell him how you mad at me, though, Steph. <laughs> yo, I need, Steph, what I need, I, need, I, need, I need Steph to tell the world why she mad at me. Tell everybody yo, why you fire mad. Yo, fire kid, I need to see you on B-Cat, man. I miss you, man. You tear the shit up, man. Do your thing. Yo, we need to Fire. see you, man. We need to see you more often, man. I Do know. your thing. Stop That's playing. why I'm out here bright early in the morning. We love you. Thank you know you. that. Thank you, I love y'all too. That's why I'm out here early and say I jump yeah. on this thing <laughs> looking real just like me. You, heard? Yo, these, these, no, you no, see no, them, no, you no, see no, me, success. you see me, you see them. You heard me? Uh huh. That's coming from Uncle Shaw, Corny Out Alive. You heard me? You already, let's get Once, to it. Huh? No doubt. We're gonna take y'all to the, to the birth building right now because a lot of y'all niggas, if, if the million dollar question to save your life would be, where is Fire Kid from? You niggas wouldn't know. So I'm gonna take you with me. I'll be back around in a minute, y'all. Here we go. Should I leave a weight? When I smoke weed, problems they alleviate. Really, I don't need the hate. I go far. My rhymes like the coke when the bacon soda touch the ice cube. Well, it goes hard. No fault to figure. Just a hard um, speculation and rumors, y'all don't even know who the hell y'all listening to, y'all just know I'm talented, but I just want to give y'all a chance to know me real short and sweet, 2770 West 33rd, see the address right there, see that, you know what I'm talking about, apartment 131, that's, that's a one bedroom where all of us slept in the same bed, and then we moved right to 3325 to the third floor. Now, if this nigga T-Moy upstairs, he can show y'all the crib and all that, but I don't think that's necessary. But that was from a one bedroom to a motherfucking three bedroom up there, duplex shit. Now I'm talking about, so it's an upgrade. Then I'm gonna take y'all down the block to the next crib. But I was born 12, 30, 86 to a parent of one. Actually, it was two at the time to my daddy, Reggie Thompson Sr. dipped out on us. He was a musician himself. You could Google his name, Reggie Thompson Sr. He got a lot of credits, even on um, the Biggie Smalls, Juicy Beat, whatever. That's That come from a real classic group. Um, M2 made it, the Juicy Fruit Joint. My pops actually worked on that right there. You could check the credits. And my mom's known everybody from Madonna to Prince. She was an engineer, a female engineer. So this music shit in my blood. and. I don't wanna do nothing else. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all niggas and say I don't, I don't care about nothing else, honestly. And I'm just being honest with myself right now. And I just wanted to bring y'all back to my original block where I'm from. Cause y'all y'all skipping to Seagate and Manhattan and all that. That's later on. My mother showed me how to go from a one bedroom to fucking to houses and condos. So just know my motivation is great. And I'm talking about and just stay tuned for everything. More music on top of music. Now, as far as me, what I grew into as a businessman, I right now um, own History in the Making LLC. That's my own personal company at 22 years old. And um, that's when I started that. And then um, just last year, I ventured off into the um, battling circuit and I decided to um, create a, a circuit called the Brooklyn Mike Club, which was a collective between me, my boy Clark, and the Knoxman down the way and all of that things did, um, I decided to create a battle league that uh, showcase talent for artists that wanted to make a name for themselves and not necessarily come up under no other people and pay other people and start from the bottom up because that's my mentality. So that's what Brooklyn Mike Club is about. And you see my boy Clark Caesar as, as the front face of it and that's the guy you contact for everything because I'm a rapper and as a rapper, Rappers is not gonna call me because they wanna battle me. Rappers, I can't I can't do the um, public relations work with the rappers. I only deal with the bosses. So that's why you see Clark C's all running everything and I'm just in a cut like, but I actually thought of the name Brooklyn Mike Club, but my good brothers, Clark, Mac, fucking Percy, Knoxman, Cream Halo, them guys is responsible for making that shit run. That's why I just sit back in the cut. But yeah, to those who don't know, you're looking at the creator of the Brooklyn Mike Club, History in the Making LLC, and I'm coming, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming to push this Coney Island shit to the top. Cause ain't no human being out there trying to make this stop me. This is some dog game, man. Anyway, but I just want to um, shout out a couple of family members, family time. Um, being from Coney Island, uh, you probably definitely heard of the sharpshooter movement back in the early 90s. That was, that was some shit I definitely watched as a kid. 
sharpshooters um, involved to the um, Bash Brothers. Um, Y'all all probably got a haircut from them guys too as well. And um, MOP, shout out to MOP too. Those are the guys that gave me some experience, took me out the state. Um, Billy Dunn's brought me on the radio one time, DJ Premier, satellite radio. So that was experience that um, a lot of people on the street don't ever get to see. I got to get my shit heard on the radio, like for real, for real one day. That was, that was wavy. Um, Another highlight in my career, I say um, Source Magazine in 2008 or 9 had me with the um, the unsigned hypes, the 16, like all this of the, of the month type shit for the whole summer. I had like two months in a row and for the Source, so shout out to the Source. Another cool moment in my career would say, shout out to one of the biggest battle rappers in New York and in the world, period, my man Matt Fife, shout out to him, because I remember one time I was 19 years old and we was in a competition together in the pyramid and the competition was like who could do the best songs it wasn't even about battling 16s and me and him had a tie first place for the perfect score and we had a choice we had to make me and math we looked at each other and was like the, the, the nigga said yo Y'all either gonna split this thousand, or y'all gonna battle right now for that bread. And, and I didn't even know who he was at the time, but my instincts just said, yo, tell that nigga we gonna split this money, that's it. So I'm like, yo, look, we split this 5-5, five, five, that's it. And then come to find out, I'm seeing who he is now. I'm like, if I would've battled that nigga that lost that day, <laughs> I'd have went home broke. <laughs> But music is my A game, so that was another just a cool, fun fire kit fact you niggas wouldn't know nothing about. And um, shout out to Nems to another Coney Island uh, motherfucking major artist out here. I got a chance to shake it up with him in the ring too, battling for sport. But other than that, man, check out the view. This is this is I call this the ghetto Miami. Um, mother, it's the poor man's Miami. If you can't make it out the fucking Miami on none of the Memorial Day shit to nothing like that, you come out here, man. We got sand beaches. Shit get crazy, but it get crazy out there too. And um, right now with me, man, we got we got uh, introduce yourself, man, Corey Smooth Washington, Robert Faulkner, whatever you want to call him. But I'm gonna just call him good music, cause you know if y'all ever wonder what kind of music does the Fire Kid like to listen to on some unsigned shit, this is a good brother y'all might want to check out in y'all in y'all future. So remember I told you about Mr. Faulkner, man, Smooth. Now, other than that, we ain't gonna give too much shout outs, man. But close to heart, Rich and Reg, Cream Team, motherfucking everybody, man. Everybody in the motherfucking 33rd Street on this side of town in the whole Coney Island, man. And uh, back back to the money. Yo, what up? You around? This is my arrival. You could be a friend of me or you could be a rival. Should I stop there? Nigga say it's not fair. Angel has sex with the devil. Then I got here. My recital. This is my arrival. You could be a friend of me or you could be a rival. Was on top, now you start to fall. Not only you, I put your team on the line like a conference call. The swimming pool, should I go back you? And your girl put her head to my head like a nose tackle. Make good songs and don't bad me. My first name, Reggie, and my last should be don't have to hoodie in the V. I smile a lot, nothing sweet shit. I don't even like sugar in my tea. Do symphonies, don't need sympathy. Never easy, always had a hard way like Anthony or Timothy. T-ball niggas and little 